In this lesson, we're going to look at calculating a period and amplitude of more complex functions. And it does help to be able to do this to then find the equation of each function, which we're going to do in the next lesson, the last lesson in this wee section. Okay, so find the period and amplitude of this function here. Now, what we notice is, first of all, that there's two full waves. So if I was trying to recognise what kind of graph that was, that to me looks like a cosine wave. It starts high and down and then back up. But there's two full waves in 360 degrees. I can see that clearly. So if I'm working at the period of it, because it's a repeating wave, then I take my 360 and divide it by two. Remember, the period is one full cycle before the wave starts to repeat itself. So it's 180 degrees there. To get the amplitude, the amplitude is usually taken from the middle line, but because it's been shifted, this x-axis is no longer the middle line. So there's an easier technique to do. What to do is find the difference between these two values here. Now this goes from 10 to minus 4, so that's a difference of 14. And if you half it, you'll get the amplitude. So the amplitude of this graph of the centre point, uh, it would say, for example, somewhere there, it's the height of the wave above the centre point, so that would be 7. This is a good way to do this. Okay, let's look at four examples. Find the period and amplitude of these functions. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at this and work out the period. I've got to try and find out how many waves there are in 360. So one, two, three waves in 360. So the period's 360 divided by three. So it's 120 degrees. There it's there. One full cycle of a wave before it starts to repeat. The amplitude in this one, that's not been shifted up or down, so that's quite easy. The amplitude is just how high the wave is above the centre line, because it goes to 5 and minus 5. The amplitude is just 5. OK, moving on to this one. Similar to the last screen, actually, that looks like a cosine wave. That last one looks like a sine wave. So there's two full waves, so the period is 180 degrees. The amplitude, the difference between 4 and negative 2 is 6. So divide that by 2 and you'll get 3. OK, 2 left. Um, again, this looks like a sine wave. It's starting down here. So let's see how many waves there are in 360. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're doing 360 divided by 5, which is 72. So that's the period. One wave finishes at 72 degrees. To get the amplitude, look how high it goes. 4. And minus 8, get the difference, which is 12, half it, and you'll get 6. OK, right, this one is a tan graph, but you can't get the amplitude. So I've just got that amplitude is not measured because it goes off to infinity. So um, I could, some people say it's undefined. That would be another way to define it. And it's undefined, if you like. So we'll just look at the period. So... How many, normally the period of a tan graph is 180 degrees. So how many waves are there this time? Or No, they're not waves, they're graphs. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 180 divided by six is 30. Okay, so remember... Uh, <coughs> A tan graph goes up and then up like that. That's one full cycle. So it goes to there if you like. 